every minute. Somewhere in Africa, within the tropical zones, someone dies. A malaria death. Each year, the collective sum of death from malaria is easily in the tens of thousands of prospective future citizens. As such, billions of monetary resources that could boost economies are also lost as huge resources are spent on malaria treatment and preventive measures. Enormous millions of vital manpower hours are lost on a daily basis. But all is not lost. In Kenya, the race has been on for many years now to win the battle against malaria. That requires a multifaceted approach that involves the efforts from the government, development partners and numerous stakeholders towards a malaria-free Kenya. Samia in Western Kenya. From afar, the scenic view speaks well of the resources within this sub-county of Busia, an economic hub at the border of Kenya and Uganda. At a closer look, we find a hard-working lot who go about their daily activities with much expectation and hope, just as they did in yesteryears. They are conquerors in their own right, as they tackle day-to-day -day challenges of life, such as fending for their families, education and common illnesses like malaria, among many other things that slow down socio-economic development. Indeed, due to malaria, hundreds of useful hours are lost in Samia. Sisi kwetu tuko atusita na tuko na neti moja. Ni mama na baba ndo wanatumia neti. Sisi watoto hatumii neti. Nilishikuwa na malaria juma lilopita. Nikaona ina, inazidi. Nikapeleka hospital, nikaenda hospitalini. Nikapima, nikasema, nikambiwa ati malaria yangu iko juu. Nikapewa dawa. And such stories are repeated not only in Samia but in every malaria endemic region of Kenya. In Kenya, malaria accounts for 30% of hospital outpatient attendances and 19% of hospital admissions. The government of Kenya, through the Ministry of Health, recognizes malaria as a health and socio-economic burden and considers malaria control a priority investment. One of the strategies uh, that have been found to work well all over the world, scientifically proven, is for our people to sleep under a long-lasting insecticide-treated net. And in order to achieve a rapid catch-up of universal coverage, the Ministry of Health through Malaria Control Unit, together with partners, has undertaken a mass net distribution campaign in every three to four years in malaria endemic and epidemic regions. We give nets to under ones routinely and pregnant women, and there is mass distribution at least every three years. But the malaria cases are still so many which means maybe something is wrong somewhere. The government has adopted the vision of a malaria-free Kenya in her strategic plan running to 2017 and is focusing its efforts in the malaria-endemic provinces of Nyanza, Western and parts of the coast to achieve universal 100% net coverage and 80% net use. In 2011, a total of 10.3 million long-lasting insecticide-treated nets were distributed nationally. Of these, 2.67 million were distributed by Population Service Kenya to 27 districts in South Nyanza, North Rift Valley, Western and Mwea District in Central Province. And the momentum is on. In 2014, the launch of mass distribution of long-lasting mosquito nets by President Uhuru Kenyatta marks another phase in a race to kick malaria out of Kenya. And that is possible. With the current strategy that we are trying to pilot, is that we want to increase the universal coverage and maintain it at that particular uh, point. Unlike what we have in MassNet, where we come in periodically, to increase the universal coverage. So that's why this pilot is done and we feel like uh, it's a pilot we're trying to study. If we increase the universal coverage and maintain it, can this help us reduce malaria by a great uh, percentage? We are going to have a class of the community health workers, whereby they're the ones who don't cascade under our supervision 
the, the knowledge we have got from here to take it, rather they put the right information to the community health workers. Because when you collect the right data, that will make us know which way it leads us into a positive direction. Over the last 10 years, Kenya has made progress in malaria control. However, the country is still far from defeating the disease. Compromise in the fight against malaria are factors such as poor knowledge of the disease and the lack of diagnostic equipment in some health facilities. Also, people are not taking preventive measures seriously, such as sleeping under insecticide-treated nets. Many women are also not taking anti-malarial drugs during pregnancy. These, among many preventive measures, are the cause of malaria presence in most communities across Kenya. Samia Sub County of Busia is one of them. The current campaign ideally is supposed to address the issue of literacy usage at all seasons. People in this community, they still believe that there's, there are certain seasons for malaria. Either the rainy season, there's no malaria, or the dry season, there's no malaria. And that makes when, when it is attached to that, then people are not using the nets continuously. Some of them have so many nets such that some are even kept for visitors. But we query the usage. So this training is important for us because we are going to identify the nets that are needed at the household level so that as we will be giving the nets, we will give the nets according to the need. Akimaliza the first sheet and make sure that sheet I'm deliver to the hospital within that particular day. We have uh, a whole set of 18 trainers of trainers. So these are the people who will go down to the community and be able to work with the self-appointed community health volunteers where they'll be able to train them and who these are the people we'll work with throughout the rest of the program in the various communities and households. So I've learned that I'll be able to listen from the community, hear what they say and then help them to improve their health through their own action. We plan sessions, we go to the particular meeting, we get the community members there, we mobilize them, we educate them on how to eradicate malaria. To support these objectives, PSI Kenya has interventions in long-lasting insecticidal treated net distribution as well as small group communication at community level. Sasa nitahitaji ID yako niangalie kwa register ili nikupatie voucher ambao unaenda kuchukulia neti huko namba. Katika jamii yangu ya ya Bukadi A wananchi wakilala ndani ya neti huwa najisikia moyo wangu unakuwa mzuri nasikia yani najisikia niko na afya watu wangu wakiwa na afya. Target yangu ambayo nimepewa ni nyumba mia moja ili niweze kuzifikia zote e, vitu vya muhimu ambavyo tunawafunza ni kukata nyasi ndefu ndefu zitoke katika maboma yao kumwaga maji ambayo yamekaa katika mikebe ili umbu wasiweze kuzalia ndani na la muhimu kutumia neti iliyotibiwa iwe ni kiangazi iwe ni wakati wa wakati wa mvua When he comes with the, with the voucher, they are in duplicate. So, we, we pluck out one, one, he takes one copy, yeah. then we remain with one. Wahudumu wa wafya walikuja katika boma yangu. Wakaingia mpaka ndani ya bedroom yangu. Wakaona neti ilikuwe mezeeka. Wakanipatia voucher na wakachukua kitambulisho changu na tukaenda mpaka moja kwa moja wakaenda wakanipatia neti mpya nikaja nikafunga kwenye nyumba kwenye bedroom yangu sasa mimi ninaona uzuri malaria imekimbia kwangu hakuna malaria when we look at the the malaria cases that are reported at the health facility those that come out positive we expecting the the numbers will have reduced greatly so that will be able to show the impact of this intervention program Iso Freenet, Iso Madawa, Iso Testing Facilities, Tuzito Mie Bibel, Tuwezavyo, Tuangamize Malaria.
Since the program began in 2007, the President's Malaria Initiative has purchased more than 5.2 million insecticide-treated bed nets to support distribution efforts and procured 2 million rapid diagnostic test kits and 25 million treatments. In 2012 alone, the initiative trained approximately 2,000 community health workers on antenatal care and malaria in pregnancy and more than 5,700 health workers on simplified malaria guidelines. Aneno ka chenro mar chiwo nede no nyalo konyo wa kabisa. Kaka wan jumo odaki tiende na mlo lueni suna ngeni. Makazi tupewe yu neti na itumia. Tangu tuitumie, alijapata malere na jemi yangu yote. 